Welcome to LA Interview. My name is Joseph R. Millis. This week's guest is An Kang Wukong, a prolific, multi-talented artist who creates masterpieces in painting, sculpture, jewelry design, graphics, and many other media. I met Kang last December when I was in New York City visiting family and friends. Kang's interview ran a lot longer than we expected because of his immense body of work. To that end, this week's show is part one of three that will be broadcast over the next two weeks. That's Ang Kang Wukong, next on LA Interview. Welcome to LA Interview, Kang. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. So, how did you start your career in art? Growing up in Vietnam, I had some informal uh, drawing lessons and art classes through the school system. I see. Uh, until I turned 20, uh, my dream was to become a poet and writer. A poet and a writer, how interesting. Well, when I came to New York, uh, uh, for a scholarship to go to college. I um, took one art, basic art class during my first year and immediately got hooked. <laughs> I see. So my art path has been my life for now over 40 years. 40 years. Wow, that's wonderful. It's wonderful. Um, so uh, what, are, uh, what are your subject matters? I uh, I'm in, I'm interested in exploring the uh, human experience in our environment, or more precisely, my experience in my surroundings. I see. And there are many uh, images and events that in our everyday life that is quite interesting if presented in a certain way. Right. Um, Uh, years ago, I made a drawing called Watching a Plant Grow in a Small Apartment. <laughs> and that, that is part of uh, my experience at that time, going through a period of loneliness. I see. The challenge was to search for uh, the, image, the images that are universal uh, without any boundaries of class or culture. Right, right, right. Uh, just like a beautiful passage of music, uh, a great piece of art can appeal to everyone. Sure, sure. And uh, can, you, uh, can you talk about your recent work? Yeah, I have just finished a, a series of four paintings, all with the same basic composition. Uh, they look like crosses, crosses. But to me, they are markings, just like uh, one would make a mark to uh, identify a location or, or a period of time. I see. Uh, these are the summary of human life and events. The first one, it records the human desire to to preserve the past. Connect with the past. Yes. And the, the second one is called relics. And I put it in a gilded frame, appropriately enough, uh, because I want to show the, glory, uh, the glorification of our existence. Right, right, right. The third one is called history, and it shows the environments uh, that we share with plants, animals, and insects. Nature. Yes. Right, right. The, the last one is a three-dimensional painted sculpture. Uh, it's called Beyond, and it's about science and the, the universe. I see. Uh, what artists uh, have influenced your work? I see several angles to this question. Uh, 
uh, <coughs> if it is about whose work I learn from, mm -hmm. then I learn from everyone. Uh, trip to art galleries and museums are very ed educational for me. Right. Um, usually you learn more about what not to do than what to do. That's it. But, but it is all learning. And if it is about whose art my work resembles the most, mm -hmm. then I think it has to be up to the viewers. Uh, because personally, I do not try to emulate anyone else. I see. And thirdly, if it is about whose work I, I admire the most, then the list is very long. Well, that's the end of our show, but we didn't want to leave you without showing you a few more images of Kang's beautiful artwork. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week with part two of Ankang Vukong's interview.